on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. <sighs> hmm? <sighs> Again. Really? It is yes, Izuku has to carry Toga back into her own room. Her being more than awake enough, just clinging to him, and as soon as he lays her down, just so he can get ready, there she is already there. She, Damn it, I forgot about the fact that she can do that. <sighs> Where are you going? I got school. This, this is the first day of UA, remember? Why can't you stay with me? I have school. You gave up on it, remember? True. Heck, I'm still surprised that no one from UA actually tried to look into you after the stunt you pulled. Why well, she was just an extra? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I pretty much. Wait, so she went unconscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I made sure she was safe. That doesn't. <laughs> Seriously, you can't do, you can't really do villain behavior and then start uh, such displays of affection <clears throat> in public. Because people find out, and then uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's see when we get home. Right. Is it good going? To UA and Toga being bored. Her just thinking, uh, maybe I should try body snatching someone else again and making sure he doesn't do anything problematic. Nah, he knows me. Heck, he knows how I am. Hmm. But what? Do what to do. Oh, I guess I could find out if anyone's recruiting. As indeed, indubitably, they are. Well, when it comes to Izuku, him staring at the giant entrance to UA, he's class 1A, and he's. I made it. I. I I am so happy. I am. I just can't imagine how things could have gone if. <sighs> but a deep breath, and he goes to the door. First thing he sees and slush hears is Bakugo and Ia pretty much arguing. Which, of course, they are. But they stop as soon as. They see Izuku. Ida over the sheer awesomeness that he displayed. Bakugo over the sheer positivity that he harbors for Izuku. You know, conflicting emotions. So, what do they do? Ida, hella impressed, starts congratulating him. Bakugo saying, Where the fuck did you get a quirk? And ya ya ya. Yeah, Aizawa. He gives zero fucks unless you annoy his ass. Which Bakugo does a lot. Trying to get at Izuku, but Izuku just like, you ain't worth my time. So yeah, you can just imagine the times Izuku is actually being attacked. Only for Bakugo to either be stopped by Aizawa or stop by Izuku, so that's pretty much the whole day. He does get threatened with expulsion, but Izuku is like, no, but I want him at this school. Just so I can beat him. Again. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. 
Don't you remember why you do a face plant in the pavement? Chat. <clears throat> Damn it. Yeah. That's a picture, bitch. As yes, everyone's looking as a like, wait. Is this serious? Show those. Okay. From the whole quirk assessment, Izuku is a lot better at using one for all, and he is a lot higher on the totem pole. So the risk of expulsion does not apply to him. Only one that really does apply to is Hagakure. Which Izuku's like, here are some things that her quirk would be perfect for as a hero. Just here's a list. Hagakure and Aizawa read this list. Her looking like, how do you know? Know what? How do you know I could do this? Mm, because of invisibility, you're still there. Your physical body is there. It's just the way that light bends around you and contorts to make it so we can't see you. Your quirk may not be invisibility. It may actually be... Light bending, I guess? Or huh, something like that? How are you so sure? Hmm. Call it a, a hunch. I got great blushing, but no one notices. And I was a smart kid. Maybe he will be worth teaching. All my in the background is just in awe of Izuku's progress. Not only did he do well in the entrance exam, not only has he seen to already know how to utilize one for all, instead of just using it on one part of his body. Yeah. Izuku has pretty much changed. Only thing is, All Might has no real idea how, but Izuku has already told him about Toga and whatnot. He thinks, okay, so he has someone he likes, who he's dating, okay, maybe she has something to do with it, okay. But still, the amount of progress is astonishing. Hmm. I may need to meet this Toga girl and have a little chat with her. And now, the yeah, heroes versus villains. The whole teams are the same. Only thing is, Oraka is hella awkward with Izuku. She does like him, but she knows he's already spoken for, which makes this even worse for her. It hurts her, not only in the heart, but the pride. It's like, oh. Well, he's a good, him being him, at least this version's him. He's not nervous. He's he's ready to take on Bakugo. Bakugo can't wait to beat the ever-loving crap out of Izuku, just like when they were younger. Good luck with that. Just like in canon, hands blazing, Izuku already knows Bago's fighting style to a T. It's when he starts switching things up that Izuku's, okay, maybe I need some more power. Oraka, she's already gone. And that goes on as the same as canon. Her trying to get to the bomb, but giving her away her position whenever Ia becomes full villain mode. But as for a fight with Izuku and Bago, it's similar, but Izuku's actually using one for all more. He's faster, he's stronger, so Bago knows that getting hit with that too many times, and I am down for the count. So he has to improvise, he has to think on his feet for once. His before is just target, explosion. Done. 
but with Izuku, someone with such power, someone able to, someone who knows him as well as he does, as well as being such a coordinator who's just writing notes and notes and notebooks and, I mean, he can fill up a whole library. Yeah, that's a lot different. So when it comes to those gauntlets, as soon as it's full, he feels like this is the only chance to really get him by surprise, but he has to save it. Because as soon as he unleashes it, and he misses, there's no more surprise. He's going to know, he's going to know what's going on and break the other one. But Izuku already peeped those gauntlets. I mean, he's like, okay. He thinks I'm stupid. It's obvious what those gauntlets are for. They're literally shaped like grenades. Seriously, he, Pongo is not a complete idiot. He would have at least thought of a reason for adding his quirk as well as implementing it to his costume. So, Izuku is out taking the chances. He is going straight for the gauntlets. As soon as he punches, Pongo sees it crack, knowing that, oh my god, this could be now or never. While at point blank range, he pulls the fucking pin. Izuku, like, shit. As, yes, Izuku gets blown up and sent flying out of the building. All Might is like, are you serious? He's about to call the fight, but then Izuku just zooms past. Yeah, pretty much Bago and, uh, Bago's unconscious. Yes. Let's just say, think of that scene when Genos and Saitama were fighting, at least ugh, testing each other's strength. Bago saw death. Just like Genos did when Izuku came for him. Only thing is, yeah, he's not dead, but oh, that was... A fucking one shot. <laughs> Pretty much to humbleize him again. All my seeing the torn remains of Izuku's hero costume, which yes, he did wear the one where that Inko made him, before, like in canon. So it's not that strong, but yeah, it shows his devotion to his favorite hero. Yeah. Izuku, though he is a lot stronger and more tougher or whatnot, one for all usages, and he's still human. I mean, he though Bogo did still use him as a punching bag and whatnot, training his quirk. He's not completely explosion proof. So taking that into the face, pretty much just yeah, that's that's it. This. He's wobbling. He's tired. He's just trying to keep from passing out. As he walks back up to meet up with Oraka, who is still struggling with Ida, since, yes, he was a genius and made it so she can't use her quirk, he shows up. And uh, the state he's in, Oraka and Ida are both shocked. So that's what that explosion was him actually carrying Bakugo just to toss him on the ground wait why did you as he just stomps with 7% for all making more than enough rubble but also a hole big enough for Bakugo to fall through so he has Bakugo literally plummet to the ground floor. This, oh, this, that's just cruel. 
It's a, it was unnecessary. He was already out cold, but now he's going to really, really feel it when he wakes up. So Ida has no choice to I surrender. Or I could place the capture tape and grabbing the bomb. He was so scared of Izuku because the cuts, the burns, the bruises, all oh, the torn costume, that Mixed in with the fact that he looks like I give zero fucks. I will fuck you up if you don't give up worse than I did him. That's the vibe Izuku was uh, displaying for Ida. In which, yes, your old team is the victor. When it comes to the criticism, Momo, he's, like, he's been through enough. But Bakugo... Still unconscious. <sighs> he was too reckless. If he used out a villain or someone with a wicked quirk, hell, if someone pulled a pin on one of the other heroes, that could have killed them. All my would have. Especially if they had they have a quirk like him, Midoriya's. Yeah, huh. But what do you do when he gets home? He knows his years thing, okay. That's weird, but why why the lights off? Him seeing candles, he's like, oh no. Toby wants to feel romantic, doesn't she? As yes, he walks to his room. Nothing's there. He walks to Togo's room, she isn't there. Ingo room, not there. It's when he arrives to take a leak, he notices someone else is there, waving at him all happily and whatnot. Toga is pretty much wearing nothing but a ribbon. Why? I have great news. What? I got accepted. By a villain group. We're both following our dreams. Okay. As yes, she just tackles them to the ground, and that is all she wrote. I am not going any further. I did not mean to sound like that. But now let's cut to USJ, in which it's similar to Canada except Bakugo has been humbleized again. You're welcome. And <laughs> Izuku is being asked a shit ton of questions when it comes to his quirk, saying how yeah it looks it's similar to All Might except for electricity and uh, All Might is a lot more powerful. He was like just waiting until I fully utilize this shit. And yeah, you can just imagine him seeing the villains like, oh no, it, this this can't be. Him looking, searching, him not seeing Toga, he was like, oh god, thank, thank, thank god. It isn't until he goes up against the Nomu that he knows his... Wait, was that other Nomu there to begin with? He's, then he looks back at the, the Nomu. Is, uh, he sees us blushing at him. The one he's punching is blushing. Him's like... Uh, no. No, no, no. As yes, the Toga Nomu is actually sinking her teeth. Into Izuku, him grunting in pain, everyone else screaming in horror. She can ride, he's like, wait, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> this, oh, wait, it must be the new one, new girl. Damn, she's crazy. Hearing that is not something Toga uh, 
She's no stranger to being called crazy, but it's not something she likes to be called. Just because you're crazy doesn't mean you like it when people call you crazy. And, yeah, she turns her attention to Shigaraki. <laughs> Him just like, you know. Oh, oh dear. What, did I? Yes. In this deep, threatening voice, like, yes, you fucked up. 